Hey you guys, I just wanted to hop on here really, really quick. Um, just to let you know, hold on just a second. Make this really, really quick. My family's in town, I've already been in the car a little while, I had to pray and kind of get some things out. But I did want to hop on here. I hope you guys had a beautiful start to the first of the year. Like it's January. It's the first it's the end of the first week and we're at the beginning of the second week because this is January 8th. And so I just wanted to kind of do more of a chit chat style video. Um, and just kind of so in the last little short video that I posted I asked y'all to really go to the Lord and sit and figure out not so much a New Year's resolution but you definitely want to have a vision for for the year and I say that and I wanted to pop up on here and kind of back that up <laughs> with with some scriptures about command like commanding your year and I say that and I'm probably gonna title this video chit chat slash making the most of the morning and in the Bible the morning is truly a sign of a turning point it's, and so right now we're literally in the morning of 2022 um and so my first week of 2022 I literally had to kind of reflect um on the objective and the kind of vision God gave me for 2021 it'll make sense so in 2021, he, he spoke a word to me. He said, let God love you. It was, it was really, really strong. And it came and it was confirmed back, back, back. And he literally had to teach me last year how, what it's like. To, to basically take your hands off the wheel. Um, so when you let God love you, um, waiting and patience and perseverance, um, especially in the spiritual things, um, will become the name of the game for you. So if you're like me, and that's something that has been spoken to you. Um, God's love is, is not about a feeling. It's really about action. And so what you'll find, you'll find yourself in some situations and some places that <laughs> basically look like you're an abandoned child, honestly. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, but it'll it'll look like that. And there will be times where there will be times where um you're gonna be like, hold up, <laughs> like God, I thought this was like you were you were loving me this year. You're gonna feel that. And um one thing I really had to kind of let settle within myself was that it's when you're in those spaces and in those moments that God really has the opportunity to show up and really glorify your life. Um, in a way that honors him and brings um, people to him. So you might be in a situation where you 
literally feel like you have no hope and um and that's that's all right to feel and he want and in and, and in some ways he wants you to feel those things like he not so much to be mean but so much but really to know and recognize like when the real thing comes when the thing comes you can recognize the good you can recognize the power and the influence that he's had in your life he's and um you can recognize his face when he shows it to you because you you've seen you've seen the other side of things you've you've been in that hard hard place and um dang i didn't know i was going here but um yeah it's it's literally like 2021 if i had to sum it up if i had to sum up 2021 i really learned what it's like to live a dream or live a dream like um a lot of the people i mean let's take martin luther king you know his birthday's coming up um he he you know his infamous or his not infamous his famous most famous speech is the i or one of his most famous speeches um is his I have a dream and we also know not long after that he and I'm not laughing to like because it's something funny it's just a nervous habit um he he literally got assassinated for the dream and so on the surface living the dream or living a dream out is is it has its good and its and its bad and um that's literally how i can sum up 2021 like i literally if i had to sum up my year i literally started in north carolina working two jobs minding my business um just trying to do what I thought was best and you know periodically at the beginning of the year I would like go back to that the fact that he said let God love you let God love you and some of the things he's had me kind of do as acts of faith and things like that is moving to California, literally moving cross country with very little, with very little, and then giving everything that I thought I needed and that I thought was my stability, giving that up and learning a new form of stability. And what I mean by that is I learned that my stability is ne has never been in these things. They could be taken in an instant, and um, and in many ways have been taken. <laughs> but um, and I had to hold on to the fact that he said, "Let God love you," and so I knew and know that. The only way I've made it to the point in this point in 2022 is not by my own might in any in any way. Like literally having to let him be Abba, let him be the father, the source, learn how to just take my hands off of things, even no matter how bad it looked, no matter how tired. I may have been waiting or any of any of those things and in some case and in some areas still waiting and in some areas I'm in the process of walking through certain doors and it's literally putting it in his hands and that's how you let God 
who love you. Um, you know, for God, love is truly an action word. And so the more we let him do, the more we let him love us. Basically it. And so moving into 2022, he's shared a couple things. But one thing he's sharing right now is to make the most of the morning. Um, and so one thing I will share, and I will start at... Psalms one thirty verses five through six. And so when I think about Psalm one thirty verses five through six, I think about that time period between Christmas and New Year's Day. Um obviously we're past that, but in context of things Morning is not just a midnight to noon thing. Morning, morning is just the beginning. It's the beginning of something. Um, and so there will be many beginnings throughout the year. New Year's isn't the only beginning of something. Um, but Psalms 130 verses 5, it starts out saying, I wait for the Lord. My whole being waits. My whole being waits. So when we think about our whole being, we're three parts, much like God is. God has three different um, manifestations. So you got God the Father, you got God the Son, which we know is Jesus, or our salvation, Messiah, Yeshua. Um, it's personal for everybody. Um, and then we got Holy Spirit. And so us, we have our soul. Oh, isn't it lovely when you have fireworks right next door? <laughs> um, we have soul. We have our spirit. And then we have like our physical body, right? Our flesh. And so your whole being, and this really takes a, a act of aligning your soul and your spirit together to wait, to truly wait on the Lord. So like, your spirit might be like, okay, I gave you my heart. Yes, and we're going to persevere and keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pushing. But your soul might be like already on plan B or already on plan C or already on, already broken or weary or tired or all those different things and so it really takes some I'm gonna just call it core strength I don't know how else to say it and really just helping the Lord and the Holy Spirit specifically to to help you persevere and be still and waiting um, and so let me read it again I wait for the Lord my whole being waits and in his word I put my hope I wait for the Lord more than watchmen wait for the morning more than watchmen wait for the morning and they say it twice so you know it's important um, you think about a watchman or a neighborhood watch or security or police like those hours are long <laughs> and a lot of the times it's like 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. so when I when they are waiting they're literally waiting for the morning because they 
because in the evening they went through trial and tribulation but they know that when they see that sun dawning that trial and tribulation ceases that this is their time and even in the police field like this is their time like generally the closer it gets to 7 a.m this is where they're putting in reports they're giving their side of the stories from everything they've done in the field every situation and so when we put it in context like that even 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 in your daily life you may have burnt out in every way possible in every way possible but this is the morning this is literally the morning of and i'm recording this at, in the evening right now but this is literally the morning of 2022 and what the morning signifies is your chance to speak so i urgently say this to you guys if you have not commanded your 2022 do it today this is officially the i want to say the ninth day coming up in some parts of the country it's the ninth day and some parts it's the eighth day meaning new beginnings which is a great time to do this so come 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 on and take that time and we can back it up if you read if you read Psalm 5 and 3 I'm not going to read all of it it's just because I don't have it written down and I don't I need my physical Bible don't know where it is right now right this moment um in the morning lord you hear my voice that's how that verse starts out and i want to say it ends with saying that he makes his request that's when he makes his request and we know the song a lot of the songs are written by david and so the morning is a time where you make your request and while we're in the morning of the year before the end of this week and i'm going to hop back on here january the 14th um make your request known and if you don't even know what to ask or what to request ask the lord for that ask the lord to show you the desires of your heart and that the desires of your heart align with the desires that he has for you. Um, you, you do that. Um, the morning is also a time of justice. And we see that in Zephaniah 3, 5. Uh, look at that. Psalms 5 and 3 and then Zephaniah 3 and 5. Yeah. I love when that happens with the light of each day his justice was revealed with the light of each day his justice was revealed so in the morning his justice was revealed so everything you thought went wrong in 2021 this will be the year and i'm speaking this over you guys this will be the year that you taste and see that the Lord is good. That you will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. That is what I'm speaking over you guys. I'm speaking Psalm 65 and 8 over you guys. That you will see his wonders. And that your joy will be made full so anyways i'm gonna conclude this video i pray you guys um take some time to reflect see if you accomplished 
the objective he spoke over you in 2021 and if you have ask him to speak back because he will much like he did with Joel you just sit still you wait he will speak And over the next few days, and literally in general, write down any visions, dreams, anything that the Lord is speaking to you, even words that he might be speaking to you through other people. Um, write them down. Pray over them. Seek clarity. And then... Be sure to make the most of the morning. I love you. Peace and blessings and good night.